Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today is another one of the ones where I wear one of these and it's a Kolsch beer, my homebrew Kolsch and Lord's Brewing Kolsch. Um, Kolsch basically is a beer, an ale that's uh, brewed in Cologne, Germany. Uh, so it's a Kolsch style beer. So they're not, you can't call them Kolsch. Uh, it's trademarked and all this and you can't call them Kolsches, but you can call them Kolsch style beers. So these two are Kolsch style, so Kolsch style homebrew, it's a Kolsch style beer. Um, so the brewed in Cologne in Germany. Um, they're basically brewed with a ale yeast. Um, it's like a warm fermented, and then they condition them like a lager for a cold, so a bit of a long time. So the, the appearance should be quite clear. Um, maybe a little bit crisp, but you also get the best of both worlds, so you're getting that lager, but you're also getting the ale, possibly the esters from the ales and stuff. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the blindfold on, Mrs B's going to pour them into a glass, not had this one, this one I had a while back, so hopefully I'm going to blind taste, see what they are, and then I'll give uh, Lord's Brewing's Colch style beer a rating. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, so both drinks are poured. Uh, there's one on my right, and there's one on my left. Um, what I didn't check beforehand, but well, it doesn't really matter, I didn't check the ABVs, can't remember the ABV on mine, and I didn't check the one on Lords, I've not read any information, so I don't even know what uh, it's been brewed with. Um, so, yep, yeah, so I'm hoping both these beers have got a nice clarity to them, to meet the Kolsch style. Um, if they haven't, I am not bothered anyway, because I enjoy beer, no matter. Uh, so I'll go for the right hand one. Let's go for the aroma. Hopefully I get that near me. Okay, so it's it's malty. It's really quite malty, quite nice. It's it's it's, it's lagerish, or lager esque, I should say. So it's not overpowering. It shouldn't be overpowering with hops, and that isn't really subtle. Nice bready aroma. It's nice. Okay, that's a very similar aroma. Maybe, maybe slightly getting a hop fruit or a, an ester, which is absolutely fine. As I said, it's warm fermented, um, so if it's bringing up some of them fruity esters as well, it's fantastic. But yeah, it's got a, it's got a, definitely got a slight fruit yesterday. That one uh, more malt forward. That's how it tastes. Nice carbonation. It's definitely lager-esque. It's got a nice malt backbone. Slight, slight fruit there. Nothing, nothing overpowering at all. And it's nice, it's crisp. It's really good. That's really nice on the palate, that one. Let's go for this one. Okay, that's, that's more bitter. That is Lord's Brewing because it's got that Lord's Brewing taste. That it's just a signature about Lord's Brewing. That's lovely. That's a really nice beer. So straight away, just by tasting it, I can tell that's Lord's Brewing. That is fantastic. It's got a nice bitterness to it, which is superb. It's not overly bitter. It's like a like a, a nice balanced lager bitterness, which you'd want in a beer. Carbonation's perfect. Yep, let's go again. Yep, yeah, slightly peppery, slight fruit notes, and a nice balanced bitterness. Okay, so 100%, that's mine, more malty. This one's Lord's, a little bit more of a hop on the hop side. Nice bitterness, a little bit peppery notes, absolutely lovely. So first time seeing them now. Woo. Okay, let's see. So mine's slightly paler in colour. Um, let's see. 
Well done. That's definitely Lord's Brewing, isn't it? I could tell that straight <laughs> away by that that flavor. That it's got that is that is that flavor there that just brings out a Lord's Brewing. So yeah, so there's mine. Crystal clear, really, to be honest. Really clear. Um, see right through that, and there's Lord's. Just a slightly bit darker. But again, fairly clear. Slight haze on there, but might be the hops. Um, but yeah, they both look very similar in the glass, if I'm honest. Um, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, that's more malt forward. And that's just got that yeast. It's, it's got that signature yeast um, that Lord's has. And it's got a nice pepperiness to it as well from, from them hops. It's a cracking beer. It's got a bit of... A little bit of earthiness to it. Just mine just feels a little bit more malt forward. Um, but yeah, for me, absolutely cracking beer. Um, top notch that one. Absolutely lovely. Could drink loads of them. Refreshing. Not too short percentage years. Let's can I have a cap so I can see what let's see what I'm talking about. Um, what's on here? I'll get my glasses as well, that might help. Okay, so first day, it's a Kolsch style beer, made in Huddersfield, West Yorkshire, 4.8% ABV, Lord's Brewing Co. Uh, and it says, multi Kolsch style beer with a fresh aroma derived from gentle dry hopping. So that's possibly why it's got a slight hop haze uh, with, I think it says, Kazbek hops. Slightly fruity on the palate with a sweet, biscuity malt character and a soft yet crisp bitterness. Spot on. The description's absolutely spot on. Uh, this is a story of how I convinced my now wife to go on our first date. I was working in the motor trade at the first at, at the time and I had a collection of clapped out or sorry, clapped old German cars. As a ploy to talk to take no no sorry, as a ploy to talk to her. Without her friends around, I offered to take her for her first driving lesson in my old Porsche 944. She accepted. What followed was a 944 revi no, revving so hard it overheated and blew the radiator. We ended up being rescued by my true, trusty old BMW E34. E Sometimes in life it doesn't always go the way you thought. However, if you stay calm and positive, it will work out in the end and that's uh, I think that's John from Lords and he's talking about Lydia uh, and the car there so on the can you can see the picture of the broken down Porsche um, superb and um, what does it say here it says Kolsch style beer brewed in Huddersfield ingredients water barley yeah wheat um, yeast Dana Styrian Bobek so sorry it's got yeast and the hops are Dana Styrian, or Syrian Bobek and Kazbek and it is a superb beer, it really is, that is, it's fantastic, it really is, it's a superb beer. Um, yeah, what are the rate loads for that one? Well, it's a clear four out of four, that is a superb can. You need to, uh, if you're watching this and you've not had loads of beers, honestly, they do some fantastic brewing, some fast, fantastic beers. So there's mine, mine's very clear. Quickly tell you what's in mine. Um, <clears throat> this was brewed, mine was brewed in November. It's got Hannah Malt, Heritage Malt. It's got Vienna and it's got wheat. I think Lord's use wheat as well. Um, I went with English hops, so I used Endeavour. Uh, it's 60, just for slight bittering. And it's just really, really subtle. Uh, and then it was just a Nottingham, Nottingham Ale Yeast. I ferment, fermented it, like I say, warm. Got it down cold and let it condition for a while and that's helped with that clarity if I'm honest. But yeah, superb. Gonna go and sit down now. Really enjoy that beer. Well done those. Fantastic Kolsch style beer. Okay, um, I don't think there's anything else on that. Oh sorry, I didn't tell you. My, my ABV, 4.7. So 4.7, 4.8. Absolutely nothing in it. Two absolutely cracking beers, if I do say so myself. My, mine's I'm going to leave a few of them bottles now for the summer. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next one. Cheers.